In today's video, we're going to take a look at displaying Seriously Simple Podcasting series on your WordPress site. We'll first start with looking at how you would do it right now. It's a very popular question. Once you start to create series um, inside of your Seriously Simple Podcasting player, how do I see my series? How do I list them on my website? Well, every theme is going to make the archive page look different. I talked, I've talked a lot about archive pages in WordPress and customizing those archive pages in other videos. Uh, I'll link those up in the description. But here we are on the series screen. And I have two series, series A and series B, because I'm being super creative today. Both of them contain just uh, one or two episodes. And if I were to view this series, I'm going to click that. Series A is going to show me these two uh, episodes. This one's scheduled. It's actually not really published, but you can see I have this one right here. This should be series A. Hit back. Click view on series B, this should be series B. And you can see the slug uh, up top is slash series slash the actual series name, which is series B. So series hyphen B. So series slash series name. That's how you get to series by default. You could actually link this right up in your WordPress navigation. If you just wanted to show somebody an archive page of all of uh, your podcasts in a series, boom, you're done. Very simple, very easy. But if you wanted to create, let's say, a landing page for your series and maybe add some extra content around it, like subscribe buttons, newsletters, that kind of thing, I'm going to show you how to do that next. I'm going to show you how to do it with Gutenberg. I'm going to show you how to do it with Elementor because largely those are the two most popular ways. Okay, so first, let's take a look at doing this with Gutenberg first. Um, the plugin that I'm using in this example is uh, a very popular uh, plugin called, if I could find it, I believe it's called Ultimate Add-on for Gutenberg. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom. There it is. Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. It's made by Brainstorm Force. Um, they're a very popular WordPress theme and plugin company. Their Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg is free. They also have one for Elementor, which would work the same exact way. Uh, I just believe they charge for the Elementor one if you want to buy it for Elementor. I'm going to show you a different one that does work for Elementor for free in a moment. But first, we start with Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg and how to set this stuff up. So let's go right to a page. I'm going to create a new page in, in uh, WordPress. I'm going to say Gutenberg Podcast. Just give it a title. For whatever reason, I like to hit publish. Uh, just The page is there. I know I, I won't lose it. So we see it, Gutenberg Podcast. And now we'll add uh, this block here to display our uh, series. So plus on the blocks. It is this post grid uh, block that they have for the ultimate add-ons. And you can see immediately, hey, there's a bunch of content showing in a grid as the name has aptly uh, called itself. On the right hand side of the settings, what we want to do is focus in on where our podcasts are. And in my site, and by default with Seriously Simple Podcasting, they are all retained in the slash podcasts custom post type. Again, I have other videos on custom post types. If that's foreign to you, just know that they're not posts, they're not pages, they're in the slash podcast custom post types by default. You can change it. So if you are using a post, use a post here. But by default, it's in the podcast, so we'll select it. And then we're going we're gonna to drill down a little bit further and select the taxonomy. This is a WordPress term, not a, not a seriously simple podcast term. We're going to select the taxonomy, and that's the podcast series. So as of right now, it's showing all of the podcast series content. And there'll be another dropdown, and it will display your series uh, in your case. But you can see here for me, it's back to the series A and the series B examples that I showed you before. I click on series A, it's going to show this one post that's in series A. If I click series B, it's going to show this one post in series B. And if I had more content here, you'd have a better time sort of playing and, and organizing the content. But this plugin, uh, the Gutenberg Ultimate Add-on by Brainstorm Force, <laughs> is a simple way to add these little post grids to your posts or pages. So I'm just going to hit update, preview. Uh, in a new tab. And you would want to play with sort of the styling of this, which you can do with, uh, you know, with this plugin. But this is going to be all of those series that I selected, and somebody can just click on that and go right into uh, the post so that they can start playing, uh, the, playing the episode. And the concept here is 
Now this is an entire page and you can design some stuff around it, right? You could play with your template. You could make it a uh, full width tem template if you wanted to. You could add some other content, like uh, we'll add a headline heading. We'll say, uh, listen to our latest series. And we'll center align that. And then maybe just, you know, to add something to this is we'll do image media library. I don't know. We'll just say that that's the image that we want to use. And again, we'll just align that center, update, preview a new tab. And now we have this landing page and you might have other content here, other call to actions. But the important thing is you said, hey, display just these series right here below. Okay. That's how you do it with Gutenberg. There's a bunch of Gutenberg plugins that are out there. I'm just recommending uh, the one by Brainstorm Force because I know they're a pretty large company. They support it. They do a really good job. And again, they have one for Elementor. It just happens to be paid. So you basically you're looking for any of these add-ons that have this sort of post grid solution. And as long as you can drill down by post type, by taxonomy, then chances are you're going to be good to be able to display that on your WordPress website. Okay, let's take a look at the Elementor solution. And it's the same concept. So we go to installed plugins. This particular plugin that I'm going to uh, display today is essential add-ons for Elementor. Uh, it's a free version. It's been installed by over a million uh, active installs. So we will just take a look at using that. We'll go back to our pages to Elementor podcasts. And this will work largely the same. So you'll see a tray of uh, widgets for this particular plugin on the left hand side, essential add ons. And this one is the post grid. So I'm going to grab this, drag it over to the center. Uh, again, you can see the same reaction. All of our posts are starting to be listed out here. And what's the source? Again, we want to select podcast because that's the source. That's our custom post type. There's all of our podcasts. You can see I can drill into maybe these other specific items if you wanted to, but we're just focused on series. There's no drop down here. It says, please enter three or more characters. So you have to start typing. So series, I happen to call mine series A. Yours would be whatever year 2022 or whatever you name your series. You'd start typing that here. And I'm going to select uh, the series A. We'll see the one episode that's from series A. Uh, and you could even list a series B and just stack them uh, on top of each other if you wanted to. And updating that, viewing the page is very, uh, uh, very simple, very, very much the same way that you'd be doing it with Gutenberg. Stack more content around this, add some call to actions, add some other buttons, whatever it is that you want to do to create your series landing pages. That's how you do it with Elementor uh, and the plugin to add that post grid on. And a lot of these add-ons for Elementor that support the post grid, yeah, you can generally drill down into the custom post type and select the taxonomy. Those are just the two plugins that I recommend today. We'll recap these plugins one more time. It's essential add-ons for Elementor. Again, that's free. You can search for that uh, right in WordPress.org. And then all the way to the bottom, I got a lot of test plugins <laughs> on this site. Ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg made by Brainstorm Force for free if you want to go the Gutenberg route displaying series on your WordPress site. It's pretty easy once you get to the right plugin and the right blocks. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. We'll see you in the next video.